Yo, good morning. I'm Ryan Fila, and welcome to the second edition of Freaky Friday. Today, I'm going to be taking you with me. We're going to be going on a journey together from my hotel here in Inglewood, where I spoke yesterday to some high school leadership conference. And then we're going to go to the Denver International Airport on public transit. You overwhelmingly wanted to see me vlog on public transit over taking an icy cold shower. And then I'm going to take you onto the plane where I vlog with my new two best friends who are sitting right next to me. So let's get started on this journey. Yeah. Oh, I bet that was loud. Can we check the bathroom? Last time I was on the road, I forgot my toothbrush. Yo, looks like we're good. That's it. I stayed too nice here, and I didn't get breakfast either day. I messed up. <laughs> awesome. And here are the keys. Thank you. You have a good day. I didn't think about getting a tea. Now I literally have zero hands. Camera in one hand, tea in the other hand. That's the biggest thing I know is about vloggers. They do everything with one hand. Getting that tea bag out with one hand was way harder than I thought. I've already managed to get more tea on my pants than in my mouth. Hello? I want to buy a ticket. Oh my God. On this week's episode of Freaky Friday, we're gonna figure out what type of person you are on public transit. Is, is this one stop? Is, no. No. This is my stop. Yeah, not this stop. Next stop. I'm pretty sure. I don't know, ma'am. Excuse me. Sir, excuse me. You're not supposed to be sitting there. You ain't my daddy. I sit wherever I want to. Hi. Yeah. No, you can. You can sit here. Let me answer a future question for you. When you see the vlog of me going to Denver, yes, I'm wearing the same exact clothes. All passengers, please exit the train with all your personal belongings. Thank you for riding R2D light rail. You're welcome. <laughs> this looks like our spot right here. I can't even lie, doing this for a Freaky Friday was a great idea. I appreciate y'all for pushing me this way because it's definitely uncomfortable to me, but this is something that I want to become comfortable in so I can do it more often because I think I have a lot of value to add to the world and to you to see some of my travels and to see behind the scenes. So I appreciate you. United doesn't let you check in on the app because they don't trust your carry-on bag, especially if you haven't checked one in. So their line is about 100 plus people long right now. It's 6.15, the flight's at 8.20. Hopefully we make it in time. Over here is the back of the line. I need you guys to move over to your left, sir. Move to the left. Move to the left, please. I am. Okay. It would be helpful just, to come on well, back. Just it's trying to figure it out. <laughs> Got a D like David. You got it. Go, go for it. That one didn't work. Oh, he didn't hit the finish key. Oh, no thank you. Set this thing on the trash. Hi, honey. That's all you got? That's it. And you brought it before it fits yeah, in the seat in front of you? Yeah, I Okay. From Portland. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. If it you. was bigger, it is 30 to check a bag here, 55 at the gate. That's okay. why they bug you. And then exits here. Just okay. follow this purple line on the ground. That gets you to security, honey. Boom. Thank okay. you. Okay, you got it. Well, she was funny. They didn't lie. I can't believe that line only took like five, ten minutes. I don't think I've ever seen the TSA pre-check line all the way backed up to this sign. It might be longer than the regular line. It's always playing roulette, looking for the line. Which one do I want to get in? Who's checking faster? Ooh. 
I'm glad you got here. I didn't think you were gonna make it through security. They didn't like the camera going through, or they were talking about something for a while. I was standing there waiting, like, mm, they're gonna yell at me for recording through the security bit, but you made it. Well, I know what I'm about to get this morning. Let me get some of that Jamba. Oh, easy. Zoom back out, especially if we're gonna have half the turbulence we had coming out here. I need a little bit of something in my stomach. Ooh, but I just got up here. Qdoba's right here. And they got breakfast burritos for $7. I think I gotta get Qdoba. Can I get a little bit extra eggs and potatoes too? I only get this breakfast once in a while. But when it's too big, you need the double wrap. Yes, thank you. Y'all have a good day. That's what we like. And we're back. I vlogged and ate right over there about 36 hours ago eating Qdoba and we back. You just can't go wrong. Call last call to Portland. So I mean, it's almost my time to get on the plane because I never get on the plane on my board. I don't even know what boarding group I'm in because I wait until the very last moment because I don't want to sit on the plane any more than I have to. Final boarding call, that's us. Good morning, how you doing? Fine, how are you doing today? Trying to live the dream. Right. Thank Perfect, you. thank you. Ticket says 37 C. We're at 39 coming out here, so I think we're only two seats from the back again. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just about done with the boarding process. Super empty flight. So we just copied a couple seats right here in the exit row. Let's see if we get away with it. experience I'm glad I did this for a freaky Friday session I am on the plane and I got my whole own row of seats I was able to just set my bag up because I was out here super late that's another benefit if you get on the plane late you can see who's on and who's not and there were only two people behind me and that was it so I just kind of lazily put my bag up above in the storage bins because there was a bunch of space this plane is empty I just kind of put them up let the people sit down that were behind me and then I copped up right here in the exit row, which is actually upgraded seating, but nobody was sitting here. So I just sat down and no one said anything. When I was sitting down after they briefed us on sitting in the exit row, they're like, are you sure you want to sit in the exit row? I'm like, yeah, sure. Um, or I guess that's not how they really frame it. They say, we need a verbal confirmation that you are okay sitting in the exit row. I'm like, yeah, for sure. After that, a guy moved up trying to be slick and sat in the seat like across the row and a flight attendants came down and was like, sir, you have to sit in your own seat. I was like, bro, you messed up. You need to move earlier so they don't know you're switching seats that they think that's your assigned seat. But it's been a great experience. This whole vlogging thing has really broken me kind of out of that shell of just having the camera in front of my face in public. People looking at me like, bro, what, are you a vlogger? Like that's what everybody thinks and what everybody asks. And some people think it's stupid, some people don't is what it is i'm not doing this for them this whole freaky friday segment isn't for them it's for me and it's to break out of my comfort zones and really just grow it's about growth so i hope you take some opportunities in your life just to get into uncomfortable situations that you know you need to be in in order to grow that's what freaky friday is all about i appreciate y'all i love you and i will see you next week for another episode of freaky Friday. Wow.